question 141 match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option column 1 includes peptide bonds backbone of dna nucleoside and glycosidic bonds column 2 cellulose hemoglobin deoxyribose and phosphate uridine in column 1 option a peptide bond would be present in the globin part of hemoglobin a hemoglobin is made up of two parts that is heme and globin and this would constitute peptide bonds thus A goes with 2 B backbone of DNA backbone of DNA is made up of deoxyribose and phosphate there's no problem there so option B goes with 3 Option 3, nucleoside. Now, nucleoside is formed when a nitrogenous base attaches with a sugar. So, in the given options in column 2, uridine is a nucleoside. Uridine is formed when uracil combines with a sugar, that is a ribose. So, that's a nucleoside here. C goes with 4 of column 2 and lastly glycosidic bonds. Glycosidic bonds are found in polysaccharides like a polymer of glucose here that is cellulose. So D goes with 1. In the given options A2, B3 is with option 4. So that is our right answer. The correct answer here is option number 4. Question 142. Read the following statements. Statement A reads, Bidder's canal in Rana Tigrina permits passage for sperms. B. Nymph of Periplaneta undergoes 13 moles to reach its adult form. Choose the correct option. Only A is correct. Only B is correct. A and B both are correct. A and B both are incorrect. Let's analyze both the statements. Bidder's canal is present in male frogs it's present in their kidney and transports only sperms unlike the urinogenital duct which transports both urine and sperm this transports only sperms so this is a correct statement that it permits passage for sperms and statement B that cockroach that is Periplaneta americana undergoes molting 13 times. This is true. After the 13th molt, it becomes an adult and only adult cockroaches have wings. Whereas the nymphs only have the wing pads. So this is also a true statement. Both A and B are correct. Which goes with option number 3 here that A and B both are correct. My right answer here is option number 3. Question number 143. In a normal healthy male, the glomerular filtration rate can be affected by all of the following except change in capillary permeability, constriction of efferent arteriole, volume of urine excreted and changes in renal blood flow. You are looking for a factor which would not affect the glomerular filtration rate here. Option 1. Change in capillary permeability that would affect the glomerular filtration rate for sure because GFR depends upon the volume and the blood pressure of blood passing through the kidney so this would affect option number two constriction of efferent arteriole again a constriction of an arteriole would bring changes in the blood pressure and that would again affect the GFR option number three volume of urine excreted the volume of urine is decided after the glomerular filtration. So it will not affect the rate of glomerular filtration. And option 4, changes in renal blood flow. This would also affect the GFR. So only option 3 here, that is volume of urine excreted, will not affect the glomerular filtration rate. That is our right answer, option number 3 here. Question 144. Dehydration increases the plasma concentration of all of the following hormones except aldosterone, vasopressin, angiotensin 2, atrial natriuretic factor. 
in the state of dehydration in the body the body would try to conserve more and more water and it would inhibit or suppress all the mechanism that lead to diuresis or excess water loss from the body so among the given option the plasma concentration of what would not increase due to dehydration has been asked option 1 aldosterone aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid and its main function is water conservation it promotes the reabsorption of sodium ions along with which water would also get reabsorbed so this would increase in dehydration that's correct option number 2 vasopressin now vasopressin is also known as adh that is anti diuretic hormone it would help increase the volume of blood and thus the blood pressure so this will also increase in a dehydration state option 3 angiotensin 2 the effect of angiotensin 2 would be similar to that of anti diuretic hormone in toto so this would also increase and lastly option number 4 atrial natriuretic factor now anf increases the sodium excretion and whenever sodium is excreted out it goes out with water so there is water loss that's promoted by anf it's a diuretic hormone thus the ans would promote water loss from the body and body will not increase its concentration when there is already less water in the body so this would decrease in fact so in the given options aldosterone vasopressin and angiotensin 2 all would conserve water whereas anf would promote water loss and would not be increased and thus it would not increase in dehydration and the correct answer is option number 4 question 145 maximum solute reabsorption occurs in which label part of the nephron a p c and d the maximum solute reabsorption takes place in pct and pct is internally lined by cuboidal epithelium and this cuboidal epithelium has microvilli on them giving it a brush border appearance which increases the absorptive surface area pct brings about maximum absorption because it is permeable to nearly all the substances which are present in the glomerular filtrate and pct is marked by a here this portion whereas b labels dct c is labeling vasa recta and d is indicating towards collecting duct the right answer is a which indicates towards pct option number 1 here 